story to tell. In the famous Fighting Falcon family, few people know that General Dynamics once created a special version, the F-16XL variant. It was originally conceived as a technology demonstrator, later entered in the United States Air Force Enhanced Tactical Fighter Competition, but lost to the F-15E Tri-Eagle. Several years after the prototypes were shelved, they were turned over to NASA for additional aeronautic research. Both aircraft are currently stored at Edwards AFB. The F-16XL began as the F-16 SCAMP with the initial goal of demonstrating the applicability of supersonic transport technology to military aircraft. Its first flight was in 1982. Compared to the original F-16, the F-16XL has a major change in wing design with a delta wing without a horizontal tail that will help the F-16XL better manage at low altitudes and generate a lot of lift. The F-16 electronic flight control system was tweaked to allow control at high angles of attack. The wing was also a big fuel tank, which greatly increased range. The XL has an overall length of 16.51 meters, a wingspan of 10.44 meters, and a height of 5.36 meters. Its empty weight is about 10 tons, and maximum takeoff weight is 21.8 tons. The F-16 XL was powered by a General Electric F-110 GE100 turbofan engine delivering 76 kN dry thrust and 129 kN with the afterburner. The XL can reach a top speed of Mark 2.05, a range of 4,590 km, a surface ceiling of 15,000 m, and a rate of climb of 320 m per second. Less noticeable is that the fuselage was lengthened by 56 inch, about 1.4 meters, by the addition of two sections at the joints of the main fuselage sub-assemblies. With the new wing design, the tail section had to be cantered up to 3 degrees, and the venture fins removed to prevent them from striking the pavement during takeoff and landing. These changes resulted in a 25% improvement in maximum lift to drug ratio in supersonic flight and 11% in subsonic flight. The F-16XL could carry twice the ordnance of the F-16 and deliver it 40% farther. The large wing allowed a total of 27 hard points, allowing the aircraft to manage a bevy of missiles and conventional drop ordnance. The F-16XL fielded a single 20mm M16 Vulcan internal Gatling cannon for closing engagements. Its offensive capacity was relatively staggering when compared to the original F-16 mount. Although considered a revolutionary design when compared to the F-16A, the US Air Force decided to choose the F-15E. 
the F-15E held several inherent advantages over the enhanced F-16XL. Its twin-engine configuration offering not only more power and speed, but also improved the survivability of both aircrew and airframe during low-level trial runs. The existing F-15 airframe also required far less modifications to achieve the strike roll. A second cockpit was added aft of the primary one, and this outfitted with the necessary ground attack instrumentation. Two XL prototypes were built. In 1988, these two aircraft were transferred to NASA for our research. At the conclusion of their test programs in 1999, both F-16XLs were placed into storage at NASA Dryden. Despite the XL's failures, the F-16 series continues to be in use around the world and continues to serve as an important pillar for many countries, including the United States. My video about F-16XL answer. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos. Tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị và các bạn trong các video tiếp theo.